The city of Boise celebrates World Refugee Day. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Steve Den, here in the Grove Plaza that features crafts, food, vendors, but a very special day as several people receive their American citizenship. <laughs> World Refugee Day officially happened on Thursday, but Saturday the celebration kicked into high gear, bringing together cultures from all over the world and giving everyone a chance to interact with each other. I made it. Yes. 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 She made it this week. She also made some pants as Artisans for Hope, a nonprofit organization ran 100% by volunteers, welcomes refugees and teaches them how to sew. We build on the artistic creativity that they bring from their home countries. There's no shortage of artistic creativity at the World Refugee Day celebration. Ukraine, please stand. <laughs> However, a special naturalization ceremony featured 10 former refugees who earned their American citizenship. I ask you to devote the same energy and dedication that it took to reach this point today to make positive contributions to our country and to uplift your communities. You could see the joy on their faces as these new citizens came from Burundi, Thailand, the Congo, Ukraine, Burma, and the Central African Republic. We didn't have a chance to speak with any of them, but we did catch up with a refugee who has been in Boise for four months, and Neville Mutombo hopes one day he'll be on that stage. I think whatever it takes for me, for me to do, I'll do for me to get this attention. For Artisans of Hope, it's all about connection and helping refugees find community. We have Bhutanese, Congo, Afghani, Iranian. They all come together, they all laugh, they all learn. And that's also the point of bringing everyone together for World Refugee Day. I'm enjoying. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. And every Saturday is happening here in the Grove Plaza as the Capital City Market celebrates 30 years. You can see some of the vendors behind me, and that's open every Saturday from 9.30 to 1.30. I'm your neighborhood reporter Steve Dent for Idaho News 6.